we, we've got a bit of a breakdown as far as this entire domestic debt exchange program is concerned. We'll be getting into some salient portions of what this could imply for the bondholders on, on the different you know, spheres, the different spectrum of uh, bondholders. But for you, looking at the fact that this has been a two-month-long process as far as the, the debt exchange, the back and forth since last year, the readjustments, two, three months. Now that it has come to some sort of conclusion, now that tomorrow we know this could uh, start, what would be your assessment of the process up to this point? Well, thank you again and good morning to uh, all your listeners. Uh, I would say that the program so far, I mean, the government has done well by making all the adjustments, but uh, my position has always been that this program is never needed for the country, considering all the losses that people are going to incur. So in as much as the government has gone back and forth to make those adjustments, if you still look at the entire program, I could basically describe it as Samanwale, no matter how the government twisted. You, you could describe it as what? As Samanwale. Samanwale in Dagwane implies losses. And that is a perfect description by a Ghanaian musician in the northern region who came out to describe the MPP government and Nanado as Samanwale. So whatever the government is doing in the bond program is Samanwale implying losses. No matter how the government does this, people are going to incur losses, basically.